Welcome back to Fully Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we are checking out the brand new spooky update, the Halloween update for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're gonna click the first map and check it out. Here we go, spooky number one. Take a look at this brand new Halloween update map. This is so cool. I love the pumpkins. Look at how cool those glow. That is fantastic. A little altar here, a little stone with some candles. Look at the spooky old tree with the spider webs. That's so fantastic. More pumpkins, more candles. Really creepy pumpkin back here. That's very cool. A graveyard. A little fog in the graveyard too. See that? That's awesome. Over on this side of the map, we seem to have some more of those stones and candles and pumpkins. And then the same thing over here. But what about the door? I'm hoping beyond hope that the door has something special and no the door is not special guys this is the first spooky map let's go check out the second one here we are on the second spooky map and guys this is a redone dynasty map remember that the japanese map check out this pumpkin altar that is very cool is that the head of i don't know what animal this is or was but it's freaking me out giant pumpkin really cool also, don't forget the altar to our chicken gods. Never forget the chicken gods. I love how outside has this really cool fog effect. Giant pumpkins, creepy spider webs, lots of thorns and vines. And what is up with this candle right here? That's a weird looking candle. These maps are all very, very cool. And I believe if memory serves me, they come with new units. Let's check those out next. Scrolling on over, you see the spooky faction. Give it a click and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new units. We have the Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Archer, Candlehead, Vampire, Pumpkin, Catapult, Swordcaster, and the Reaper. Guys, it looks like we know where that effect came from. Here is the Mind Master, the Psychic. His hands are chained together his neck is chained and these swords are swinging around him the pumpkin catapult looks phenomenal i can't wait to see how this unit works here's the vampire i wonder if he actually can suck out your life force this guy is the candle head remember that bright green candle we saw yeah there you go and then skeleton archer and skeleton knight they look phenomenal let's have some fun with these units let's start with skeleton warriors i want to see them at work they cost 100 points therefore we will put them against some squires who also cost 100 points skeleton warriors versus squires who is going to win yo stop 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 what on earth are they running away scared is that what's happening right now they are look they're running they're afraid they're gonna drown themselves the skeletons have a fear ability i did not expect that and the knights have drowned themselves though it seems like the skeletons are not very durable i mean they do have a fear effect but one hit and they seem to die exceptionally quickly. So their 100 points are not from their HP or damage, but mostly from their powerful ability. <laughs> and when they die, they break apart into multiple pieces. That is so cool. Knights were victorious, vanquishing the skeleton foe. Now we're going to take a look at the skeleton archers who seem to have fire arrows. And they're going to be attacked by a swarm of hobbits. Oh my god, the hobbits catch fire. Oh my god, the hobbits catch fire and they burn and then they die. Oh, that is so fantastic. We've never had a fire effect in the game before. These are awesome. I can't wait to use the fire arrows as a god power. Oh, that's going to be so good. Hobbits swarming the fire archers. The fire archers seem way more powerful, in my opinion, than the skeleton knights, the skeleton warriors, skeleton fighters, because that, those fire arrows are doing some work on the hobbits. But the hobbits are working the way in. We're running out of archers. But nope, does not matter. Fire archers are way better than a few puny hobbits. Now we're gonna check out Candlehead. We'll put a group of him over here on this walkway. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I'm very excited. And they're gonna face something else of equal value. How about some hoplites? Just gonna go in there against Sparta's units. And we're gonna see what happens. Again, equal point value. That's pretty close right there. Perfect. Right in front of this awesome shrine to the pumpkin god, we're gonna have hoplites versus Candleheads. Yo, what are they throwing? What are these? Hold on, let me zoom in. It just looks like balls of creepy energy. And there's something, see that dark spot trailing behind? Oh, it's candlelight. They're throwing candlelight at them. And look how far they're being knocked back. They're being pushed back by the candles. I did not expect that. These are very, 
very good anti-melee unit. The candle units are just destroying Sparta's knights. It's one-sided. It's unfair. And they go flying off into the sky, off the map. Oh my god. These things are really cool. A very unique unit with a very unique ability. Next, we have the vampires. 200 points each. Very curious to see how they're going to perform. Let's get them some uh, Vikings. How about some Berserkers? We throw in some Berserkers. Equal value fight. Oh, they turn into bats. Dude, look, look, look at the vampire bats. Look at the vampire bats. Oh, that's so cool. They got little pointy teeth. <laughs> they turn into the bats and then they swarm. Hold on, hold on. You see this Berserker turning red? They do suck the blood. They self heal. And you can hear them going. <laughs> That is so funny. The vampires suck the blood of the berserkers, but you know what? The berserkers are more powerful. Equal point fight, and the berserkers completely vanquish the really cool vampire units. Up next, we have the pumpkin catapult. I'm actually kind of excited about seeing what these bad boys can do. And I'll put some more over here. And then I'll put some more over here. And I want to see the pumpkin catapults lay waste to a group of, you know, just just some just your average everyday halfling just make a little a little pile of halflings here we go pumpkin catapults here they go pumpkins flying through the sky what happens when they land yo oh they bounce oh guys they keep bouncing and they keep rolling and they keep bouncing and they keep rolling look it just keeps going oh these pumpkins they're better than any catapult unit we've ever seen now we're gonna move on to the sword casters 1000 points each. I'm just going to put a group of about a dozen and they're going to face a dozen other 1,000 point units. How about some wheelbarrows? Because again, they're 1,000 points units and why not? A dozen wheelbarrows versus a dozen mine casters. What do these guys do? I'm in slow mo because I want to see. Oh, they throw swords. Oh, they throw swords and they go straight into the chest of all these units. Guys, they have psychic sword attacks. <laughs> Hold on. When they die, do they lunge the swords at themselves when they die? Look, see him? I want to watch this unit right here. Ready? Gets punched. Watch very closely. Yep, he dies, and the swords come in. Oh, if an enemy unit is too close, when a mind sword dies, he'll get caught in the sword lunge suicide ability, and he might kill people directly around him. Couple of these dudes left. Oh, Bob Rosses are getting destroyed. There's one more wagon left. Oh, the mind swords are actually really cool. They keep lunging infinite swords at people. I like how this mind swords a sword out of his back too. That's hilarious. You can see, boom, boom, just chucking, chucking long swords. <laughs> Come on, please, please kill one. He did. <laughs> Come on, apple thrower. You can do it. Hey, I don't know why I'm, I'm cheering for blue, but I find it funny that this mind sword died to a freaking apple. That is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've probably been waiting for the reaper we're going to do one reaper we already kind of know what he's going to do but i want to see just how more powerful he is compared to our lovely dark peasant modded unit here is the real reaper with his real abilities rocking this disgusting looking scythe this is the visage of death himself and let's see what he does boom 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 Whoa, he has the, the, the grapple on ability, and you can actually see he's holding on to multiple enemy units in his grasp. Yo, what was that attack? What was that? That was so cool. Okay, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's do the spooky faction. We're gonna drop a reaper. We're gonna drop a couple sword casters. We're gonna drop a pair of pumpkin catapults. We're gonna drop uh, a row of vampires, a row of candle heads, and then skeleton archers, and then your skeleton warrior thing. And we're gonna come in with our own little group of units. Let's go with the ancient faction. I just wanna get a bunch of these ancient faction units going. Ballista, 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 snake archers, and then hoplites, Sarisa, Sarisa, shield bearers, shield bearers. Now, there's more points on the good guy side than the spooky guy side. I just want to see. There's the minotaurs. There's the units fleeing. Fire arrows. Pumpkin catapults. There's our lovely candlestick guys. And in comes death himself. He's carrying units with him as he goes on his death rampage. 
just carrying this poor Spartan unit. Oh, man. Death coming in after Zeus. Zeus getting candled. There's snakes in the fight. Oh, God. Death just died. And when Death died, he did that black hole effect. Remember the black hole effect we saw in the Shaman? When Death dies, he does the black hole thing. Problem is, only a couple of these ballistas left, and there are plenty of enemy units. Oh! Oh, the snakes! Guys. Guys, this snake is distracting. The snake is killing the archers. No! <laughs> snake's too strong. The snakes are too strong. Here we go. One reaper. One reaper. Sword casters. Sword casters. Pumpkin catapults. Pumpkin catapults. Vampires. Vampires. Candleheads. Candleheads. Skeleton archers. Skeleton archers. Skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors. There we go. Spooky faction versus spooky faction. Damn near perfect middle ground fight. Look at this fight on this bridge. Here come the candle makers. Here come the mine swords. The reapers are moving in, grabbing onto all the units. Pumpkin catapults continuing to rain death from above. Each reaper is still alive. No, both reapers are dead. Mine swords are dead. Catapults are alive. The red team has a bunch of archers. Blue team has no archers. So a couple lucky bounces from the catapults has caused a bunch of work. But there is a mine sword and a candle. No, candle guy is still alive. Mine sword is still alive. If they can't get close, they're going to have a problem. I think this is it, guys. One mine sword left, and that mine sword got pushed back by the candlestick unit. Who's left alive? No one. The red team is victorious.